Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Jacqueline. Do you love the Wizard of Oz? How about Wicked? Do you like that one? Have you ever thought of throwing a Wizard of Oz theme party? But you thought it was just for kids? No, 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 no. In this series, I'm going to show you all about how I threw a fabulous Wizard of Oz party that was good for both children and adults. I'm going to share with you all my DIY ideas, all my little DIY projects that I did, ideas for food, for activities, anything to make it a fabulous and unforgettable Wizard of Oz party. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and I'll show you all about it. Okay, so the last thing I need to figure out is my tablescape for the party. It won't be here, it will be at my friend's house, but her table's about the same height, I mean, same size. So um, I'm gonna work out uh, this kind of, um, it's gonna be the Emerald City, but done a little bit differently, not like you imagine. Um, I did see an inspiration picture, which I'll, I'll put here about what I meant about that. And um, let's see how it goes. Show you what I'm working with. So I found a bunch of vases, plus some candle holders, this cute little glass hat, at the thrift store. I got a really good price for them. I think that the whole thing was like $10, so that's pretty good. Some of them were green, as you could tell, and then some of them were not. So I spray painted them with this kind of a stained glass spray paint. So that's how they all got green. I let this one alone as well. I like the fact that it's a little different. So the idea is to create, um, again, something that look almost like a tables, well, oh no, tables, okay, well, I'm trying to, like um, the facade for this, for the city, a cityscape, something that looks like a cityscape, but done with faces. So let's see what we can do. So found this, it was actually a sheet, but we're gonna use it as our tablecloth. So the first thing is to do the tablecloth. Okay, so I said the tablecloth, I uh, give it a, a quick ironing to make sure it didn't have any creases. Again, this is actually a sheet, not a tablecloth, so it's very soft, which is nice. So I actually, it ironed pretty well. So now the next thing is gonna be to put a runner. I have three, actually, maybe four in contention. I'll show you what the options are. This is number one. I love the geometric design, it kind of plays a lot with what we're doing. So that's one option. Option number two, I don't think it's gonna be the one I'm gonna go with, uh, but that will be option number two there. But I could use it for somewhere else, so. Yes, I have leftover of my glitter paper. And I think I have quite a bit. Okay, so I had a little extra gold fringe from when I did my magic carpet ride. So I went ahead and added it at the bottom, at the edge, you know. I went ahead and added it to the edge of each side so it looks more like a runner because really it's just, it's really co glitter contact paper is what it is, but who says you can't use it? Okay, so now we got that. Let's move on to try our vases in the middle. Okay, so when I went shopping for vases for this at the thrift store, I wanted to make sure that I had um, pairs because I knew that could make it really symmetric. So I got two of those and I got lucky that this place had that. Um, I got two of these, two of these. So um, the idea is to start from the middle and kind of do a very uh, symmetrical kind of thing. So this was my high point. So I know this is my center. And then we're gonna go from up to low. So, um, and again, I could even change this by giving this more height, but that's kind of the idea. The idea is to kind of match the heights on both sides. And 
I'm trying to make this kind of situation, right? And the little wizard's head. I'll just go in the front here. And then I found this thing, which is actually one of those kind of, uh, it even has like a special a tea light, but I thought it would be good upside down. As a topper. So again, we're trying to give you of, you know, buildings in MLC. So, I think that's all my pieces. Now, the magic comes in. And if I wanted to, I could put flowers in these, but that's not the, the vision wasn't about that. And it's something that has to look good through all sides. Um, I want to actually put some floating candles in some of these and some, um, very light. Let's see how that works out. This is what I have so far. Let me get a little closer. I decided that the way I was doing it was kind of boring. I think it's better if I make him try and make him look into towers, like they're towers. So this is what I have so far. And I like the fact my inspiration point, my treasure picture, I had like a little path. I think it kind of makes it kind of read better as like you're entering MLC through there. And it's kind of like the main thing of Emerald City, the main thing. Um, so I think I'm going to go with that. I'm still playing with it. I might put some of this little ball spread out after I put my lights. I'm going to do my lights first. See how it all works out. And these ones, even though they're blue, they're sort of really a little bit like greenish, you know, with all the reflection of everything else. And then I'm going to put them together with um, some uh, wax. But I'm still playing around because there's some of these in the back that I'm still debating about. Like, I mean, maybe I want to put this like this. I think I like it the other way better. So I tried it this way. I think I like it better this way. Oh, but it's not gonna stay though. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Anyway, I'm still playing with this one. If I put, give it a little wax, it will stay, the earthquake wax, it will stay in place. It's more deciding whether that's what I want, or do I wanna do something else? I don't know if it more like a, Yeah, I'm finding that if you turn things upside down, they look a little bit more abstract, less more like on the base, you know, kind of thing. See, I don't like that these two are so close together. It needs more height here, so. I think I'm gonna go with that. I think once I put the, the wax on, it'll stay in place better. So, um, yeah, let me, at least, I don't think I wanna wax them up now, but, um, so they need to travel, and they're not gonna travel well together like that. Maybe I'll just figure it out and get my lights out. And then the hat kind of didn't work where I had it, so I'm just gonna probably just put it to the side. I still think it reads well, but it doesn't read like. And then I'm gonna make a little sign that says, Welcome to Emerald City, kind of here, just to help give more of that. This is the main entrance to the Emerald City. So let me get some lights. So I think I saw on this configuration. I'm trying to make them look more like a building structure, so I'm trying to use, so it's less wide, but I think it, it gives the illusion better what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna take a picture, so I remember this, I'll do it over there. And then I added the lights, which you can kind of separately. And I don't know about adding these. Let's give them a try. Now I'm gonna make the sign and then I'll be done.
So once the day of the party arrived, I went ahead and set up the buffet table just like I had practiced and I arranged all my little vases according to my last configuration. I like the fact that it wasn't themed but not too childlike. The glass vases may look a little bit more sophisticated, which was kind of nice for this kind of party. What do you guys think? <laughs> 